Hello everyone, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a review for the new Little Mermaid doll set released by Mattel. It includes Ursula, Ariel, and Trident. The retail price is $59.99 and you can get it on Amazon.com. I believe it's an Amazon exclusive only because it hasn't shown up anywhere else but Amazon. So I will put the link below if you'd like to purchase it. I think the price is pretty good considering that Ursula by herself is $24.99. Ariel is about $14.99 which kind of brings Trident to about $20, right? $19 to $20. And yeah, I mean, as of now, the only way the only way to get Trident is if you buy the set. They might release him eventually by himself, but I really don't know if they will. So that's why I didn't really get Ursula by herself either, because I figured I'll just get the set. I can always have an extra Ariel, and I finally get Trident and Ursula. So I'm very excited. We're going to go ahead, take them out of the box, and take a closer look at all of the details. So let's get started. First up, we have the box, and it follows pretty much the same design that we have seen for the entire collection, right? It says Ariel, King Trident, and Ursula. We have Auntie Ursula, Ariel, <laughs> and Trident. We have a picture of Ariel right here, the Little Mermaid logo, and it is a set or dolls for ages three and up. When you turn the box around, you have a picture of the dolls with the same description that has been um, on all of the merchandise so far, right? About the Little Mermaid. We have the barcode to scan for the soundtrack, which you can do already. And here we have the stock photos for Trident, Ariel, and Ursula. Here we can see other two dolls that are available, which I have reviews for if you'd like to see them. And then we have a quick little instruction of how to put Ursula together and Trident. Now, before I remove them from the box, I wanted to give you a quick look at the way that they are packaged. I absolutely love the tail behind Ariel, and I love the tentacles wrapping around Ursula. That is such a cool way to pose her. Absolutely love it. Before we take a closer look, let's go ahead and put them together. So Ariel's fins, as I said in her review, you just click them in and they're good to go. Again, impossible to remove after you do it, so just keep that in mind. And the same thing goes for Trident. He has the fins that just pop in. Again, I, I even tried to remove these and I couldn't. So just keep that in mind. Once they're in, they might be in forever. <laughs> and again, we're going to take a closer look at everything. We're just getting them together. Now for Ursula, it's a little bit more difficult because she has more things to put together, right? More tentacles. And they are numbered, right? So this one, I believe, is number number two and i'm not really doing them in order i'm just doing them the way that i grabbed them but as you can see she has four different sections to plug them in so you just have to match the number so number two goes with number two right here and at first it's difficult right especially doing it on camera but the blue goes towards the bottom right so it's very easy once you get that in your mind and it just clicks right in if it's not clicking in you know don't force it <laughs> This one, I can barely see the number, but I believe, yeah, that's number one. You just pop it right in. Now we have tentacle number four, and you just make sure that it matches. And again, it just goes right in pretty easily. And then for the last one, we have number five, which is really two tentacles, right? Just like the other. <laughs> and you go ahead and Plug it in, and you're done with Ursula. And here we have them all standing next to each other. And of course, Ursula is a little bit smaller in scale than she should be. She, de she should definitely be taller, right? And I think Trident should also be a little bit longer than Ariel. But, you know, it is what it is. First up, we have Ariel. And as I said earlier in the video, this is the same uh, $14.99 doll that you can buy, you know, everywhere, the main budget line or play line Ariel doll and you know I already did a review for her very early on one of my first reviews <laughs> for the merchandise in this movie and yeah it's just absolutely beautiful I just love this doll I think she's like a signature in everyone's collection everybody has her and as you can see this is the my other doll <laughs> and they're the same you know the hair is always a little bit curlier or different but same face sculpt and paint job uh, the same uh, locks and wavy surround hair same design for the tail you know but it doesn't hurt to have a second area to be honest i think i have like four of these by now but yeah <laughs> they're completely absolutely same doll 
Next up, we have Ursula in the likeness of Melissa McCartney, which plays her in the movie. And I want to remind you all that this is the same doll you get if you buy her by herself. And I was just waiting to get her in the set because I had already pre-ordered it. So here we have a close up of her face. I think she looks absolutely perfect. I mean, she looks just like Melissa, right? They definitely captured her nose, her mouth. She has a big smile with red lips. She has the green eyeshadow and the eyebrows. And I just think she looks perfect from profile. It looks just like her as well. They did a really, really good job with her, right? She's a light purple color, right? Like a pastel purple, just like she looks in the movie. Really cool. She's wearing pearl earrings. These are not so accurate, I think, from the movie. And I tried to remove it, but I couldn't. But yeah, these are not super accurate, but they look really cool anyways. It looks like the ones that Ariel wears in the animated version. <laughs> For her hair, they kind of gave her this like very unique hairstyle that's split into two pieces here, making like a curl on the top. And it's not necessarily accurate because in the movie, you know, it's more messy and stuff, but it looks cool. And I love the shades of purple and white that they used. Really, really nice. Definitely gonna wash it and like make it look more realistic. She is also wearing her seashell necklace and it's all made out of plastic, right? Just one piece. And it did have a rubber band on the neck holding it together, but I broke it off by mistake. Now, one of the things in the movie that's really cool is that she has a, um, this like dangling things on her collar and in her arms as well. And of course that is missing from the doll. I wish it was included somehow. I know it's probably difficult to make, but I think they could have figured it out, right? Now, when it comes to the articulation, there is some articulation in the arms. It's not totally, totally possible, but you know, it's there. The actual hand moves a little bit. And yeah, the whole doll is just, you know, a toy basically. It's all plastic and it's all pretty much the same color, which is kind of like a navy dark color. She has really cool articulation in the waist though. So yeah, the outfit is not really black. It's more of like a dark blue, maybe dark purple. I don't know what you would call it. Yeah, I think it's more blue, but it has this like white dots on it that make it look really cool. And then the bottom of it is blue. These two tentacles on the side do have articulation, but the others do not. So, you know, overall her design is really cool. I do wish that we got a nurse a with like fabric and stuff, but this one being a figurine or a toy is more of what I would call it. But I still think she looks really, really awesome. And last but not least, we have Mr. Trident himself, and he does have his trident as an accessory, which could also be used for Ursula, right? It's gold and it's all like a soft plastic or a rubbery plastic, as I always call it. And it doesn't have a lot of detail or paint on it or anything, but it does have some of the sculpting that is pretty accurate to the movie, right? To the one we see in the film. And it's really easy. You can either slide it into his hand like this and to remove Again, really easy, or you could just kind of snap it in. Whichever way feels better for you. Now we're taking a closer look at King Trident's face, and I think they did a wonderful job of capturing Javier Bardem here. It looks just like him, right? There's a little bit of pixelation going on on the eyebrows and on the eyes, but it's really not a lot. And then on the lips, you really don't see any pixelation there. They also gave him a plastic beard and painted it. In my opinion, you know, I prefer this to be sculpted because I don't know how hair coming out of his face would have looked like. So this is just safe, and I honestly prefer it. Look at his side profile. That is 100% uh, Javier's nose. They just really, really did an incredible job here capturing him, honestly. Amazing. And the paint job on the beard is really good too. It really matches the color of the hair, which is a mixture of gray, white, and black hair, right? It looks really good. It's soft. I, I believe it's also Saran hair, like they've been using for all the dolls in the Little Mermaid collection. He does have two curls in the front <laughs> and there is pretty good articulation in the head considering that the beard is on the way. It's pretty good. Now the two curls, it's up to you if you want to wash it, you know, so that it matches the rest of the hair. For now, I think I'm going to leave it like this because I like the way that it falls on the sides, but you know, it's up to you. Now the crown itself is plastic and it's attached on there with rubber bands. It's sculpted super nicely and pretty accurate to what we see in the movie at least. I like the two little holes thingies on the side and yeah. For the most part, it looks pretty accurate. It's not painted or anything, right? It's all one piece and it's gold and it's like the same plastic as the Trident. But I absolutely love the crown. You can take it off and put it on Ursula too, if you like. <laughs> and so this figurine, like Ursula, is all plastic, right? But it's still pretty accurate to the movie. There you can see they gave him his little body armor, which looks so good in the film. And it looks really good here too. The kind of plastic that they use really resembles uh, the look that he has in the movie, right? 
this like shiny blue color. It's so beautiful. Honestly, they did a great job here and they really couldn't have done fabric for this anyways, right? So it works. I love the gold on it too. And the arms do have articulation, you know, they move up and down and that armor piece on the top doesn't really stop it from moving, which is great. I thought it would, but it doesn't. He can still put the hands up and down and he has this piece here on his arm, which is gold. It's a soft plastic on both arms. He has that. He also has like this curves right on top of like the belt area. They're really nice painted gold. Also pretty accurate to the movie. I just love that. I love the little seashell on the belt that goes all around, right? It's really, really a nice design. The tail itself is green with some gold painted on it. And then the bottom fin, it's like a soft rubbery uh, material with some glitter on it as well. And he is able to sit, which is how I'm going to pose him until I find some kind of stand. <laughs> and here you have him next to uh, one of the sisters from the set, Indira, just so you can see like a size comparison with him, Ariel and her. And yeah, he definitely should be a little bit longer. They could have made the tail a tiny bit longer and it would have looked a bit more accurate. But overall, he looks really good next to them as well. Alrighty, everybody. So that is all for today. Let me know what you think of the doll set in the comments. Personally, I really need a King Trident. So for me, you know, this set is a must. I think it is a little bit on the high price, but if you didn't buy an Ursula and you saved those $24 and you put it towards this and you get Trident, you know, I think it, it works itself out. At least for me, it was worth it. Hopefully for those of you who only want Trident, I, I pray they release him eventually by himself, but you never know. So I had to get him. So I'm really happy I have him. I think he's awesome. Ursula is really cool too. And of course, an extra area never hurt nobody. So let me know what you think again. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.